and today is going to be a very, very exciting video. Don't look at my nails. They are a literal catastrophe. We had so many entries, so many people needing and wanting and loving my last back to school giveaway, which concluded there was a winner. Her name is like Vanessa, spaced out on Instagram. But there was so many people who still really wanted back to school supplies or really needed back to school supplies. So I decided that this year I'm going to be doing another back to school giveaway. And I think that this giveaway has at least as much, if not some more items in it than my last giveaway did. So this is another huge back to school giveaway. Once again, the first thing I'm gonna say is just that this is open international, worldwide, to anyone on planet Earth. This contest is open to all Swamp Family members. All you have to do is be subscribed, to my channel, but we'll get more into the rules later. So once again, we are gonna start off with doing like a haul and I will show you all of the prizes that the lucky winner will win. Right off the bat, once again, I'm going to be giving away one of pretty much all pieces of Swamp Family merchandise. So you will get your very own official Sippy Sippy Tea Cup with our adorable little Sippy Sippy Gators on it. My camera does not want to focus. You will also be getting a stack of lucky number two Swamp Family mood changing pencils. So they start out green and then when you hold them and you write with them, they turn yellow. It's pretty nifty. You are also of course going to be getting our official Swamp Family wristband. And on the backpack, which is Vans and kind of like a tie-dye galaxy thing going on. I thought it was tie-dye, but I I think there's some nebulas in here so I think it's actually like galactic outer space kind of stuff but on this beautiful backpack you will be getting one of our adorable cuddly gator keychains he's so squishy and so cute he just wants to love you he wants to be your friend and then you are also going to get our two square shape uh, they're actually rectangle, uh, rectangular shaped Swamp Family keychains. One has our gator on it and one has a cartoon of me on it. And then they both say Swamp Family on the back in different colors. One is like tea stained and one is tie dye. So this is the backpack that you will be getting this time. I wanted to change it up from pizza. Starting off this time, the winner will get three binders. Yes. One of them has a little clipboard feature inside. And I thought that this one was very beautimous because it looks like watercolor painting kind of. You will also get this pink one, which has some kind of, oh, it also has my hair on it. Also, you win a strand of bunny's hair. This one is kind of like pink. I don't know, it reminds me of like, well, it's not kind of pink. It's clearly hot pink, but the sides of it, the texture, it reminds me of like Nerf toys, like the throw balls, you know what I mean, like footballs. Um, and you can also customize it in the front. Nice binder. Lastly, you get this beautiful teal kind of turquoise binder. I went back to Target and I got the French fry lunch bag. Last time we did hamburgers. So this time uh, you get French fries and it's just a lunch bucket. Or like I said in the last giveaway, if you don't take your lunch to school, you can keep pens and pencils and markers or art supplies whatever you want you can repurpose this for I also once again got a alligator pencil pouch because we're the swamp family so I just thought he was too cute had to repurchase him for this giveaway as well you also get those same magical pretzel erasers so it's for erasers in a beautiful twisty shape. I actually thought I got four sets of these, but maybe I only got three this time. I once again repurchased those adorable Crayola sets that are my color is. So you get a lot of different types of markers and crayons in these kits, but they are all in the same color. So I got my color is orange, my color is pink, and of course, Swamp Family Pride, my color is green. I also got a, another USB drive this time. So this 
will hold eight gigs. It's a flash drive so you can put your school papers or projects or whatever you may need on a flash drive. And this time I got Olaf from Frozen. I know that he is super duper popular. Somebody's gonna hit me with a brick for saying this, but I actually have never watched Frozen once all the way through. <gasps> Too much singing and not enough like Sweeney Todd. I also got, this time, a pair of scissors. And these are just regular student scissors in alligator green. Next, let's get into this massive stack of notebooks and folders. I got lots of comments from you guys last time just saying and commenting that you actually need more five subject notebooks than anything. So this time I got two mega five subject notebooks. So I got this kind of raspberry color and I also got this green color. Are you surprised by now? Probably snot. So green five subject notebook. Then I got some cute spiral notebooks. So you get this one that's kind of like diamonds and holographs, holograms, still messing that up somehow. I got this one which has adorable treasure trolls on it. I really truly do love troll dolls. I hope you love them too. I hope they're making a comeback. I also got this one that I thought was so unique. It is a minion notepad. So it kind of has like this like design on the top of his eyes, his glasses. You can use this for standard school projects and then his eye section up here is perforated. So you can kind of fold it over to bookmark your pages or tear it off for like to-do list, notes, stuff like that. So I got two of those, but they are in different colors, slightly different minion expressions too. I got this one, which is just so glittery, so green. Love it. Then I got two like composition type notebooks. One I thought about, I forgot last time to give you guys some graphing paper for math classes and stuff. So this is a composition book of graphing paper. And then this is just a regular composition notebook. But I thought that this was a really beautiful color and design. Regular notebook paper on the inside. I also got a stack of folders. This Magical disco glitter folder. Magical green glitter folder. This, which says blah blah blah. I don't know why. I thought that that was funny. And of course I found one that is magical tie-dye treasure troll. So of course I had to grab that one. I also got you guys a different planner and I found this one at Target and uh, I almost got the same planner I got last time but I decided to get a different one because I loved the fact that you could customize the front of it. You can stick your own pictures in here and I saw that the weekly days Oh, where are you weekly days? The day sections are really big and then on the side of each day section there are little spaces that's a to-do list with a checkoff point and I used to do that in school all the time and it would really help me when I would have homework assignments and stuff like that. I could check them off as I did them and there are also monthly sections as well in case you need to block out you know events or tests or whatever uh, you have monthly schedules as well with to-do lists on the sides of those so hopefully you guys will enjoy this one. Also another notebook type thing I got. Once again, maybe you couldn't turn this in unless you had a special project or something like that. But I loved this cork board notebook. It says be brilliant on the front and it's got light bulbs. And I just figured if you wanted to journal or write ideas or if you had projects, if you're in college, you can just probably use this to take your notes in. There aren't really any rules in college or at least my college didn't have any rules like that, that we had to follow, of like specific types of pens or paper or notebooks or anything like that. Do I have lipstick on my teeth? No. Thank goodness. Sippy sippy. In celebration of that. You guys know me, a giveaway would not be a giveaway without massive piles of crayons. So I got this, which is a box of 120 crayons, and you get an adorable little smiling crayon 
sharpener in this kit. I thought that was pretty fantastic. I also got the set of 60 twistables. So this is like a mega pack and you get 60 color twists crayons in here. You even get some that are like combined colors. It's like two or three, maybe even four colors in one. They look pretty neat. I also got some sticky notes and uh, these kind of look like the Gatorade symbol, but they are lightning bolts and they're actually kind of transparent. So you can use these over your textbooks or something I thought to like write notes on them. You can still write on these, but it's like transparent. So you can also point to something that's really descriptive for sticky notes. I also got a mega pack of markers this time. So these are pip squeaks. So they're actually smaller in size, but you get 64 different colored markers in here. I thought that that was pretty cool. I also got this jumbo highlighter just cause it makes me laugh. So it is a huge, uh, green, yellow kind of highlighter. It's like Grello or Yeen. I'm not sure what color we would call this. I also repurchased two of these flashcard notepads from Target. I wanted to get three again, but they were sold out of the green one by now. So I just got this that is kind of like sherbet colors, orange, red, yellow. And then this one, which does have some green in it, but it's like different shades of blue and green. I thought these would be great for flashcard learning. I also got a miniature swing line stapler, complete with some staples. I got three things of wasabi tape, washi tape, whatever this is called. Why is my hair falling out everywhere? I got this one, which is a really pretty floral design. It's like flowers, tulips, marigolds. I don't know all what flowers are there. I also got this one again. I thought that that was adorable. It's like blades of grass, but I think the tops are transparent. And then I got this one once again, which is a teal hologram kind of look. I hope it's focusing. It's really, really shiny. I got these, which are page markers. I wish you would be able to see them better. Maybe you can slightly see them, but they are little fox faces. So you can stick them out of your notes or out of your textbooks. They're like post-it notes. You can write on them, but a little fox face is gonna stick out of your book like, ah, hi, I'm here, read me. You are also going to get one of my personal favorites, two of my personal favorites actually, which are Mr. Sketch Markers. Once again, I bought the package that smells like movie night, which has space aliens on it. La, 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 la. The smells in here are blue slushy, chocolate mint, hard candy, root beer, buttery popcorn, and nacho cheese. This time I saw that they also have six ice cream scented Mr. Sketch markers. So you're gonna get these as well. And you get bubblegum chocolate, mint chocolate chip, lemon ice, strawberry, and stinky cheese. I'm really not sure how that fits into the ice cream theme. That is really, really weird. Mr. Sketch, what are you doing? I also got two pads of paper this time that I thought would be really helpful for projects or if you are in a younger grade. I know you guys always need a big old pad of construction paper. So I got that this time. You get eight different colors in here. And then for different projects or artistic endeavors or whatever, what have you, I got this beautiful fluorescent pattern pad. In the front, you get these really bright, awesome, <gasps> look at that, types of fluorescent patterns. But then in the back, it's more like regular construction paper in neon colors. But I thought, you know, if you were doing science fair or different kinds of projects like that, that maybe that could be quite helpful. I also got something different this time that I thought would be fun and useful, which is a Dymo personal label maker. So I thought for your different subjects or binders or whatever kind of organizational stuff that you may need to be doing, you can refill it. It comes with one thing of tape, but you can use it over and over again. And you can label all the things. It has 195 different symbols, date stamps, 
a large display. I thought if you had school uniforms, you can also buy tape for this thing that will make iron-in labels for your clothes so it doesn't get lost in gym or something like that. I thought that there's a million different ways that students could use this. I also this time got a clipboard. I thought that this was really awesome patterns. You're supposed to be able to color this in somehow with something, I guess maybe Sharpies or something. I also got a huge, big, big box of colored pencils or as some people like to call them, map pencils. Once again, this is the 100 big box, pre-sharpened, every color imaginable, um, pencil, colored pencil. Also this time for correcting your mistakes, I got white out in Dogman's favorite color combo of blue and orange. The containers are just blue and orange though, the white out is still white. Oops, I forgot about this notebook. I got another regular composition notebook with adorable hearts on it. I almost feel like I bought this one last time too because it was so stinking cute. Once again, I also got a set of gel highlighters. So you get six different colors and these things are amazing. I actually bought a set for myself and they don't bleed through. They're almost like a solid it's really wild, really fascinating. I also got the self sticky note post-it notes that look like the Facebook like button. Once again, like this video if you love school supplies or if you love giveaways or if you love the Swamp family. Oh, I forgot, I also got like child's craft scissors in case the student scissors were a little too much for anybody or in case you wanted to take some smaller scissors in your backpack, something maybe not as sharp. I also got a pack of my personal favorite type of pen to write with, which is the Fine Tip Sharpie pens. And this one actually comes with a bonus bright pink neon regular Fine Tip Sharpie just as a bonus Jonas. I of course got the eraser caps for the tops of pencils in lots of different neon colors. I got a regular pack of Inkjoy pins in lots of different colors. I thought that that would be great for people who like to take notes, like different types of notes in different colors. And you also get a bonus Inkjoy pin that has a stylus on the end for like iPads and smartphones and Blackberries if they still make those. I also got these Super cool pencil grips. They're glittery, neon, and when you squish them, they feel like jelly. Ah. Um, so if you have to do a lot of writing, this will up the comfort factor for your phalanges. I also got this really cool keychain zipper pouch. Once again, I thought you could just put whatever in it, but look at this. You can unzip the whole thing. Look, look at what I'm doing. And it just becomes like, a zipper, just a long, it's like magic. <gasps> and then you can just like zip it back together. I thought that this was also like a great stress reliever, just if you wanna like zip and unzip things over and over again, but you can put loose change in it for the vending machine or your student ID if you have that kind of biz or whatever you wanna put in a pouch, really, will fit in this pouch. Ta-da! All right, last bag of goodies. I also got this thing, which I thought was really cool and also could theoretically be used for makeup. The Authentic Original Bungee Binder Organizer. So this really has tons of slots in it and all my nails have recently broken. So it's hard for me to show you this, but it's basically like these bungee straps that you could put pens, pencils, Protact, pro protractors, calculators, makeup brushes, lipsticks, anything imaginable can be kept in this little, you know, it's probably easier for me to show you guys the picture, um, this little binder insert. And it also has like a larger bungee thing at the bottom for papers. On the other side, there's kind of like a regular mesh thing that you could put papers or different supplies or whatever. And this conveniently fits in a three ring binder. I also got a super large set of watercolors this time for art or projects, whatever. You get 21 different colors. And it sounds like by the rattling, you get a paintbrush too. I also, of course, got another bejeweled ruler. So this is just regular ruler and um, 
it looks pretty. You also get a mega set of wooden pencils and these are also number two so if you're taking Scantron tests and stuff like that these will work. Some of them even have monster faces on them. Are you seeing that? You also get a compass and protractor set. I was kind of thinking more about like the mathematics this time so a set of that. You also get a pencil sharpener with an eraser on top. I thought that this would be cute for desks or even lockers or something like that, but it looks like a little trash can recycling bin. It even has wheels, uh, but you can put your pens and pencils in here. You can wheel them along your desk. <laughs> Ooh. Last two things, which are not technical school supplies, I guess, but I thought they would be nice for this giveaway anyway, is a clear thing of Baby Lips lip balm in peppermint scent. In case your crush comes by and you want to kiss them, you need minty fresh lips that aren't chapped. Maybe that could be helpful. And then as a stress reliever, I'm throwing in a glow thing of silly putty and I thought that if you were in class or a test or something and you were nervous that this could just be something tactile that you could mold uh, that maybe would be able to help you and something that is portable and small enough if you have anxiety or panic attacks or anything at school. I thought that something like this could be helpful for those times. Now we get into the rules. Once again, please, please, please listen very carefully to these rules. If you have any questions, I'm just stressing that you guys leave those questions for me down here as a comment. Do not try and use my business email to email them to me. That account is getting so full of lots of questions from the last back to school giveaway that literally uh, sometimes it doesn't even accept emails anymore. So if you're looking for an answer, please do not email me with those questions. I will not get them and I will not see them. So your question most likely will not get answered. And I'm sorry if that sounds rude, but that's just kind of like how things are. Once again, most importantly, this is international worldwide. It's open to everybody. The only super important thing that I stress is that you must be 18 or older. If you're younger than 18, you can be any age as long as you have your parents' permission because obviously to mail you this prize, I will need your shipping address. That information is not saved anywhere lots of people last time thought that it was it's not when I email the winner I will need your address but when you're entering you don't have to type in your address or anything if, if that I hope that that made it clearer and not more confusing once again please let me stress this. If you have to have parents' permission, if you're younger than 18, please make sure that you do ask and get permission before you enter this giveaway. Because once you type in your information, once you enter the giveaway, I cannot unenter you. Lots of people last time decided for whatever reason they did not want to be part of the giveaway anymore. I cannot unenter you. Once you click to enter, you're just kind of a part of it, if that makes any sense. But once again, to enter in the giveaway, you don't have to provide me any personal information. You don't have to type in your address or anything like that. It's just going to ask you things like being a subscriber, stuff like that. We'll get more in that later. I also get a lot of questions regarding who is this giveaway for? And the answer is anyone who needs school supplies. I'm just stressing that there are a lot of people out there who really do really need school supplies. So you can give this to anybody if you win. You can have like a younger cousin or a child of your own. You can enter on the behalf of someone else that you know needs school supplies. I had a lot of people asking last time if they could separate it up and split the prize with friends or cousins or whatever. I have no problems with that. I had people asking me if they could donate some of the supplies, you know, to a church organization or whatever. Once you win these prizes, they're yours. Use them, give them away. 
whatever you see fit. The only thing I ask is, of course, please only enter if you yourself or if you know someone, if you're entering for someone who really needs school supplies. Like I said last time, I know school supplies are a lot of fun. I love them too. I love looking at them. I love buying them, but I don't need them so that's why I buy them and I give them away to someone who hopefully does need them so as long as you can make use of these school supplies um, you can enter on the behalf of anybody. I just hope that they're going to a good home and to somebody who really does need school supplies because once again, lots of people out there really cannot afford school supplies who need school supplies. So that's why I'm doing two giveaways this year just to kind of help at least a couple people out. This is the other super important thing that I am begging once again and stressing Lots of people still didn't listen last time, no matter how hard I beg. Please do not beg me for these prizes. Do not do it. There are lots of people who really need school supplies, who are under extenuating circumstances. There are lots of people who are in desperate need of school supplies for one reason or another. I can't listen to one person's comment or message for their reason why. You know, I can't pick like who has like a more dire situation. So the only way that I can fairly pick a winner for this giveaway, I say this every time, is randomly. The winner is chosen randomly. I do not pick the winner. I have no process in picking the winner. I will not pick a winner based on like an email where you're telling me once again, it's not that I don't care about what you're going through or what you're experiencing or what your needs are. It's not that I don't care. It's that it's unfair because every single time, no matter how many times I ask people, please don't beg me for these school supplies, people still do it. So literally I get hundreds of emails of various reasons why people just want me to give them the prize, but that's not fair. I'm just going to pick randomly, so I'm not even picking, um, a random winner is generated through Raffle Copter. That's just the way it is. That's the only way that I can make it fair for everybody. So please don't try and be clever about it either. Do not leave me your address in a email. Do not leave me your address in a comment. I don't need your address unless I email you telling you that you are the winner. Please give me your address. Please don't just don't don't have your parents email me. That happened last time. Do not have anybody. Don't do it yourself. Please don't beg me for these school supplies. It's not fair. Here is how you enter. The first link in the info box will take you to a post on my blog, which is just graveyardgirl.com. And that is the link to the Raffle Copter giveaway. Raffle Copter is where I host my giveaways because it's the most fairest most fairest. I'm not sure. I need to go back to school. It's the fairest way to run giveaways and it's the easiest way for you guys to enter. So once again, this is the most other most important thing is to enter this giveaway. The only thing that you must do is be a subscriber here to my channel, which is Graveyard Girl. That's the only thing you must do. If you don't have a YouTube account, um, it's really easy and free and quick to get one. So go get yourself a YouTube account and subscribe to my channel. That is the only thing you must do to be eligible. Like I always say, there are other optional entries. These just get you extra entries, but these are not mandatory things. You don't have to have these, but you can like me on Facebook. You can follow me on Instagram. I know I'm going to have an entry in there where if you want to repost a picture, I'm going to put up on Instagram. You can repost a picture and get one entry. You can do stuff on Twitter. So there's going to be lots of different ways that you can optionally get more entries and I'm just doing that to try and give people you know equal playing ground like maybe if you don't have Twitter maybe you have Facebook so you can get more than one entry but the only thing that you must do to be entered 
is be a subscriber here to my channel. Also, the next thing I have to say is do not get scammed. There are scammers everywhere on YouTube. People will try and scam you on YouTube messaging. They will try and scam you on comments. They will say that I'm ending the back to school giveaway early. I will not contact you on YouTube messaging. I will not contact you in a comment. I will never ever post anything like that. I will be emailing the winner directly and just check all of your email accounts. Please also make sure that if you're entering with like Facebook and stuff, it's going to use the email account that your Facebook account is linked to. I hope that's not confusing, uh, but just make sure any of those accounts that you're entering with, you must have access to any email account that you use. I will be emailing you with the email that Rafflecopter provides me with. Uh, so please make sure that if you're using Facebook to enter or something like that, that you still have access to that email because Rafflecopter gives me your information, whatever email address you have input, and that is how I will be contacting you. So if you don't have access to that email, obviously you won't get the email saying that you're the winner. The other thing that I ask is to please be checking your emails on the 25th. Check all of your email accounts that you think maybe this email could go to because I have a 72 hour thing on this giveaway, which is three days. Some people were really panicking about that, but the winner that I get, I email them. I wait for three days. If they have not responded to that email, like, hey, you're the winner. And I do email multiple times. Like if they don't reply on the first day, I'll email again on the second day. I'll email again on the third day. But if within that third day, if within that 72 hour period, the winner does not respond, I'm going to assume that you don't want the prize or you don't have access to that email address anymore. And I will pick another winner. I hate to do that. I don't want to do that. So please, if you're entering this giveaway and you really want the prize, please check your email addresses. That's very, very important. This giveaway is actually going to be open from today until the 24th, which is a Monday. I know that that's like a little bit more confusing dates, but I will be traveling for the next face awards. So I'm trying to make sure that I give myself enough time to get home, select a winner, email the winner, all kinds of good stuff like that. So this time the winner will be announced on August 25th, which is a Tuesday. And I'm not gonna promise like it's gonna be announced at noon because what I try and do is contact the winner first and get that we have a confirmed contest winner and then announce who won so that I know who actually did win and that it's not gonna be like a 72 hour window, anything like that. Um, so the winner will be announced on the 25th of August. Also another thing I wanna point out cause some people kind of got nasty with me about it, but when it closes on the 24th, it closes at midnight. So it's almost like it closes on the 23rd at midnight, like the moment that it is the 24th of August, the contest is closed. So please don't wait until last minute. You get no benefit from like trying to enter. I know some people got cut off last time and they were waiting to enter um, and then they forgot the time and the date and they didn't get their entries in at all. So if you're watching this video now and you wanna enter, just go ahead and enter now. It's totally chosen at random. It's not like you have a greater probability. If you enter earlier or later, it is a random generator uh, run by Rafflecopter so it really doesn't matter when you enter so go ahead and get your entries in now so the link will be the first link in the info box I will also have all the rules typed up in the info box all of your questions I feel like should be answered in this video or in the typed out rules in the info box. The only other thing that I'm please begging you, please let's do this the Swamp Family way. I know people will comment before they've watched this entire video. They will be asking questions in the comments that I already have answered in this video. That's okay. That's just how the internet works. 
So if you see somebody down below who's written a comment and it's a question and you want to try and help and you want to try and answer them, just please answer them in a kind and respectful manner. All I can ask is like if you're going to be giving any advice or helping answer any questions, please just do it in a kind and respectful manner. Talk to everybody the way that you would want to be treated and spoken to. So don't like chastise anybody and be like, are you stupid? She said that in the video. Just answer the question if you want to answer the question, but let's just be polite about it. I think that that is all of the important rules and information and all the prizes. I hope that this is going to go to somebody who really needs it. If you've already started school and this giveaway is like a little bit late for you, I'm sorry. Like I said, I just like spur of the moment decided to do a second giveaway to help people out who could not get school supplies any other way or who needed it or who wanted to donate it, whatever your reasons may be. I know some people don't start until September, so the moment I find out the winner, I will be mailing these prizes to you, so maybe you can still get it, you know, right when school starts or something like that. Thank you guys so, so much for being here and for watching. If you've already started school or if you're nervous about school and you're about to start school, just know that you are going to have an awesome school year, and some days will be hard and some days will be tough and some days will be a breeze, but just don't stress out too, too much about anything. I love you guys so so much and we are all here for each other as the swamp family we are all together in this group hug i love y'all so very much and i will see y'all tomorrow bye